Hi guys. So today I want to talk to you about something that is very close to you. In fact, it's so close to you, it's within you. It is in fact your brain, okay? So what I want to talk to you about today is I want to talk to you about why you're interested and why you do certain things, okay? This is really, really important when we talk about making people curious and making people engaged, okay? So I want you to take a look at this very, very simplified version of the brain, okay? So we all have this in, inside of us. We all have a brain, right? Um, and at a really basic level, yeah, because I am not a brain scientist, but at a really basic level, I want to talk to you about the three ways in which the brain functions, okay? And what the impact of that is on the way we learn and how we get people engaged and curious about doing things. So the first thing is, let's start right at the bottom of the picture of the brain. So I want to talk to you about the brain stem. Okay, so the brain stem is really what reptiles have, okay? And uh, we all started off, you know, from the same spring of life, should we say. Um, and so this brain stem is responsible for things like desire to reproduce, produce, desire to breathe, desire to eat, okay? We can't really turn it off, okay? Or we have to try really damn hard not to breathe. Um, so that is the first kind of layer of the brain. The second layer of the brain is the limbic brain, okay? And this is really responsible for our emotions and our memories, okay? So this pulls us along. So this is stuff like a, a passion or a curiosity or a love for or um, a desire to, okay? These are things that happen in the limbic brain. And why this particular thing is so, so important with regards to learning is if we can tap in to the limbic brain, we are much more likely to be able to, you know, get people to want to do our learning, okay? So I'm gonna come back to the limbic brain in a minute, but the next thing I wanna talk about is the neocortex. So typically when we're rolling out a training program, right, we appeal to the neocortex. And the neocortex is the thinking part of our brain. So it would be a rational way of explaining, right, you need to do information security because it's important to the company. You need to do health and safety. You need to do food hygiene. You need to do whatever it might, might be. Now the problem with appealing to the neocortex, okay, is the neocortex gets literally billions of things thrown at it all the time. The way you use your mobile phone, advertising on the street, thinking about your homework or your kids' homework, what, who's gonna pick up the shopping for the evening, what you're gonna do at the weekend. You are literally being inundated with stuff in your neocortex, okay? If we can appeal to, or make our training programs appeal to the limbic brain, okay, a love for learning, a, a sense of fun through using gaming mechanics, um, mission-based learning, so using epic meaning, we are much more likely to be able to get people to come along willingly and do our learning, okay? So we're, when we're talking about learning, it's not what we are learning, okay? It's why we are learning it. That's really the question, and we need to tie the why into the things that motivate or are present within the limbic brain, okay? So it's, the, it, it, the, it's appealing to the limbic brain that will basically bring people along naturally in their training. So all of this, the videos that I've, I've, I've talked about, gamification, epic meaning, these are things that appeal very much to the limbic brain, and this is why they're so important. So by latching on and having a clear understanding of how you hook in to people's emotions and that emotional level and building emotional resonance into your training programs, you are going to be able to have a much bigger impact quicker than if you just talk about your training programs in the area of the neocortex. So this is a really simplified version of the brain, guys. I'm no brain, brain scientist, but all I can tell you is by using some of the things that are, you know, within the limbic brain functionality, the sense of fun, the sense of love, the sense of passion, all of these things, you are much more likely to get people to gravitate to what you are doing. Okay, I hope that was helpful. Hi guys, my name's Juliet Denny and um, I'm from a company called Growth Engineering. I hope that you enjoy these videos. I hope you give it a big thumbs up. Um, I also hope that you comment and you give us some questions because otherwise, how am I going to know what you want to 
learn about in future. So I want your comments and I want your feedback. And then most importantly, it would be really great if you could subscribe to the channel and then when I'm delivering out new content and hopefully I'm asking, uh, answering questions that you guys have asked me, you'll know when I post another video. So thank you very much. And thank you for being part of my learning tribe. Thank you.